Welcome to Recap King. In this video, we will explain the guest. This movie tells the story of a soldier who introduces himself to a family, claiming to be a friend of their son who died in action. After he is welcomed into their home, a series of accidental deaths seem to be connected to his presence. Who is he actually? Let's unfold it in the guest. The guest begins by showing a woman named Laura Peterson who mourns the loss of her son, Caleb, a soldier who died in the war in Afghanistan. Laura is sad, then gets a visit from a man named David Collins, a former U.S. Army sergeant who claims to be a friend of Caleb's while serving in Afghanistan. Laura then greeted her warmly after David told her that the purpose of his visit was because of Caleb's will that told him to come over to his house and tell his family how much he loves them. Laura was crying hearing the last message from her late son, making David feel guilty for making her sad. Instead, Laura thanked David for relaying the message from Caleb and inviting him to stay at their house as long as he wanted. While Laura and David were chatting casually, Laura's daughter, Anna, appeared and was about to say goodbye to her mother to go to work. Laura then introduced David to Anna before she left the house. Meanwhile elsewhere, Caleb's younger brother, Luke, is still at school. Luke is a quiet student and has no friends. Therefore, he is always the target of bullying by his schoolmates. Before going home, Luke's face was even thrown into the school locker by his bullies. When he get home, David introduces himself as Caleb's friend to Luke and tries to know him. Seeing the slight bruise on Luke's face, David asked him a question. But Luke lied and replied that he accidentally hit his face while playing football. Shortly after, Spencer, Laura's husband, arrived home. Like Laura, Spencer welcomed David graciously and allowed him to stay in his house as long as he wanted. Spencer and David then had a long chat and Spencer told him about a problem he was having at work. On the other hand, Anna is alone with her boyfriend named Zeke, where she tells Zeke about David. The next day, Luke is surprised that David picks him up at school. Ava didn't believe Luke's words about the bruises on his face and asked him to show his bullies. Luke then pointed to a group of students who often bullied him at school. Afterwards, David and Luke follow the bullies to a bar, where David initially tries to hurt the self-esteem of the delinquent students by buying them the most expensive drinks. But because the bullies felt insulted and poured the drink on David, he then beat them. David then uses his knowledge of the law and bribery to convince the bartender not to report his actions at the bar. After that, he then told Luke to fight everyone who bullied him. The scene switches to showing Anna and David going to a Halloween party at the house of one of Anna's friends. Anna then introduced David to her boyfriend, Zeke and also to her friends, Kristen and Craig. Since David was able to make a good impression with Anna's friends, they quickly became friends. In the middle of the party, suddenly Kristen's ex-boyfriend comes and makes a fuss because she refuses to have anything to do with her ex-boyfriend who is always rude to her. Seeing this, David saves Kristen and manages to get rid of his ex-boyfriend after beating him. Inspired by David's heroic actions, Kristen took him to her room and then had some fun together. After chatting with Kristen, David then approached Craig and asked where he could buy a gun. Craig asks what the gun is for, but David says he's a soldier and soldiers love guns. Craig said he knew a guy who used to sell guns and would introduce David to him. Craig then asked David to prepare the money. After arranging a meeting with Craig and the gun dealer, David and Anna headed home. On the way home, Anna offers to make a compilation CD for David. The following day, Anna hears David on the phone and feels strange about their conversation. Hannah, who began to suspect David, then tried to find information about David Collins who now lives in her house. First, she contacted the military base to confirm David's identity. The military promised to investigate David Collins and share the information with Anna. Getting word from David Collins, a private company called KPG, led by Major Carver, then formed a special forces team and headed for Peterson's house. It is finally revealed that the real David Collins has died and the David Collins who now lives in the Petersons' house is another person in disguise, but it is unknown what his purpose is to disturb the Petersons. The scene then switches to showing David who is about to buy a gun from a man Craig knows. Craig was also there to keep him company. After showing the money, the gunman then showed David a few pistols and asked him to try them one by one. But unexpectedly, David had no intention of buying the gun. He killed the gun dealer as well as Craig, then took all the guns for himself. On the other hand, Anna received information from the military base that the David Collins living in her current house was someone else because the real David Collins had died. Anna immediately gave information about David Collins to her parents, but they didn't believe her words. She then intends to prove her suspicions to David by stealing his cell phone and taking a photo of the list of phone numbers that he has called recently. 
After that, Anna gets a call from Zeke saying that someone has killed Craig and blamed him for it. On the other hand, it's finally revealed that Spencer's boss at work has died mysteriously, thus giving him the promotion he's always wanted. In the evening, when the entire Peterson family, including David, is about to have dinner, Anna reveals the identity of David Collins to her family. However, David convinced Laura and Spencer with his sweet words and showed him his soldier identity necklace. Laura and Spencer again paid no heed to Anna's words and believed David's words more, which irritated Anna and determined to expose all the rottenness about David. While dropping Luke off at school the following day, Anna asked her little brother to find out what number David had dialed on his cell phone. Meanwhile, David, who was helping Laura dry the clothes, went into the house to get the rest of the laundry. After David's left, Major Carver and his special troops came to Laura and asked about David. Laura said that David was in the house, and David, anticipating Carver's arrival, immediately attacked them. A shootout between David and Carver's special forces was inevitable. Carver tries to protect Laura, but she runs away into the house instead. David received a gunshot wound to the thigh, but he quickly bandaged the wound and killed all of the special force members, except for Carver. David met Laura who was hiding in the kitchen. She seemed confused by the people who wanted to kill him, and asked him about it. But David didn't answer her question. Because his cover had been exposed, he stabbed Laura with a kitchen knife and drove away from there. On the way, David's vision was blocked by dust, causing him to crash into another car, which was Spencer driving home. He then kills Spencer by shooting him in the head. Carver, who is still chasing David, even though his car tire is bursting, finds the car David is driving has an accident, but his whereabouts are unknown. Carver then finds Spencer who died in the accident. He then asked a man who happened to pass the road to lend his car because he had to pick up Anna and Luke and ensure their safety before David found them first and killed them. Carver immediately picked up Anna to the restaurant where she worked. He reveals his identity to her and informs her about the death of her parents who were killed by David. Carver then reveals that David is a test subject in a military medical experiment and has been programmed to kill anyone who might jeopardize his identity. He is unlikely to stop even if he wants to. Anna, who was devastated after hearing of the death of her parents, immediately contacted her younger brother, who was preparing for a Halloween party at his school. Shortly after Carver and Anna left the restaurant, David came there in a car. He asks Kristen about Anna's whereabouts, but he shoots her dead and blows up the restaurant where she works with a grenade because Kristen seems suspicious. Finally, David rushed to the school to kill Luke. On the other hand, Carver and Anna arrive at Luke's school before he arrives and enters a haunted house set up for Halloween, where they finally find Luke cleaning the place. Anna immediately hugged Luke and was very relieved that her brother was okay. But then, all the lighting suddenly went out and music sounded, which was David in the audio room playing the compilation CD Anna gave him. David had also turned off the lights and intended to kill them all on the spot. The three of them rushed out of place by following Luke's teacher's directions. However, David, who had anticipated this, immediately confronted them and killed Luke's teacher who was at the forefront. Seeing this, Carver told Anna and Luke to find another way out while he would fight David alone. Despite being a major, in fact Carver could not stop David, who was also a trained soldier and was eventually killed by David. On the other hand, Anna and Luke found the exit, but David locked it with chains, so they were trapped there. Anna then tells Luke to hide while she fights David. At first Luke refuses, but Anna tells him that their parents were killed by David, and she intends to take revenge. Finally Luke obeyed his sister's words, and then hid while holding the knife given by David just in case. Long story short, Anna confronted David and shot him with Carver's gun, but David could still get up and attack her from behind, then stabbed her in the leg. Anna fell on the floor and David tried to strangle her. She tries to aim the gun at David, but the gun misfires and damages the light, setting off a fire. Luke is worried about his sister, then comes to help Anna. He immediately stabbed David twice with a knife, and freed Anna from David's grip. Instead of being angry, David felt proud of Luke, told him he had done the right thing, and gave him a thumbs up before falling unconscious. Soon the police arrived at the school, accompanied by ambulances and firefighters. Anna and Luke are rescued and appear very traumatized by the incident. While sitting resting in the ambulance, Anna and Luke hear firefighters say that only two bodies have been found. As several firefighters were leaving the school, she saw one of them limping and the officer turned to face her. Turns out it was David who disguised himself as a firefighter to secretly flee the scene.